What is up guys, JPR Tech here and welcome back to this video. This is the second part of a video that I'm discussing the different crop modes that we use. And I have a personal dilemma, as you saw in my previous video, and that is which mode am I gonna mainly shoot when I, I am in Kyoto? As you know, in Kyoto, there are a lot of uh, forests, a lot of nature. They also have beautiful, and it is also known for its beautiful architecture and really antique and old style streets and buildings. And that's why the mode that we decide on shooting is gonna greatly affect how well we can capture all those images. And I did a test outside on a, my former video and I was testing between the 1080p mode, meaning the three times three mode or the one times three mode. After doing all the tests, I came to realize that it's very interesting, this crop mode, this three times three and the one times three. For some reason, the three times three mode, it just looks sharper in my monitor, on my tablet, it just looks really sharp. Now, when you pixel peep, you start seeing the more because MLB does a great job removing as much more as we can take out and it does a fantastic job, but still the artifact is that you could tell something is different from that image. And I think it's that, it's the more that is affecting the final result. And that's why I really love the two by one aspect ratio. Normally when I'm doing B-rolls, I'll stick with the 4.8K to try to squeeze more pixels into the image, but I wanna be able to get longer clips sometimes. So that's why I'm gonna just scale it down a little bit to the 4.4K. About the gear I'm gonna be taking with me, I'm gonna keep things light. Of course, the EOS M that's shooting me in the two by one aspect ratio, the one times three mode in 4.4K, 11 bit. I'm gonna be shooting that camera with the lens that is on right now, the Sigma 16mm f1.4. Now on my desk, you can see the rest of the gear that I'm gonna be taking with me. I got the other lens for the Canon EOS M is the TT Artisan 35mm f1.4. We got both prime lenses f1.4. So hopefully if we get a chance, we could get some really artistic shots with bokeh, but that's not gonna be the main goal. I really wanna do a lot of establishing shots. That's why I'm bringing my best prime, the Sigma 16 mil. For photos and even videos, I'm gonna try to get some videos with my Fujifilm X-H1 that is mounted on the Weebill S, but that's not gonna, that camera is not gonna be mounted in the gimbal. Of course, it's gonna be the US M. My Fujifilm, it has IBIS, so I don't really need a gimbal for it. I'll just have that strapped on my backpack. And the lenses I'm gonna be taking with the X-H1 are the prime lenses. Again, I'm all prime. We got the 23mm f2 lens and the per gear 35mm f1.2 to get some nice bokeh, get some nice portrait photos out of this. Uh, even though I'm gonna be mainly shooting street photography. So it's gonna be nice, I can't wait to see what I get, what results I get. And of course, my film simulation for photos is gonna be classic Chrome for videos Eterna. So that's another thing I'm excited about because you know, in heart, I'm still just a Fujifilm guy. And of course, all the images that I'll post are gonna be all straight out of the camera. So please, if you wanna check those out, check out my Instagram and my Facebook profile so you could check them out. I'll post them from time to time, but definitely the X-H1 is just an ama amazing bang for the buck, straight out of camera, camera. Straight out of camera photography, camera. Yeah, that's what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, right? So it just makes life a lot easier. And the videos too, shooting in Eterna, it's gonna make it so easy to just trim, cut, and export. Now that we're in the 4.8K, uh, talking about the MOV, uh, files that are coming out of the Canon EOS M. We're gonna use the MOV app to transcode them into Apple ProRes 4444. I gotta make sure I get all the fours in there. That's gonna be the highest quality we can get Apple ProRes. And the reason being, I wanna squeeze quality out of the raw files that we're shooting in, even though I'm mainly gonna be shooting probably in 11 bits and possibly 12 bits in the low light scenarios. And also because you know the one times three uh, mode in the 4.8K and the 4.4K does have audio sync issue. Now, I don't know if that's only with the two by one aspect ratio. Uh, exporting into ProRes 
really fixes any audio issues that you have with that that's it for this video i'm really excited i can't wait to go out and shoot and uh, get some really epic japanese architecture for you guys so please guys if you are waiting for the video to come out don't forget to hit the little bell to let you know when the video does come out and it's gonna be yeah probably next month because uh, my brother hasn't arrived yet but once he does i can't wait to take him around to see japan until then i hope you have a great day great week and i hope to see you guys in a future video so until then happy shootings we'll see you on the next one